Okay, uh, in the next five minutes, I'm going to give you the uh, inside story on this uh, 2009 Chevy Silver Auto. Okay, on starting on the tread, you got about 40% tread on your on your front left. On your uh, your okay, your other CV boot is, is intact, not ripped. Your inner CV boot is intact, not ripped. This is your uh, uh, your your the boot on your. Uh, on your uh, steering rack and good and dry, and that's a good thing. Okay, your outer tie rod right here is is uh, solid. Your spring, your shot, shock, you can see it's good and dry. Uh, no real concerns. Not seeing any any. You're not seeing any visible oil leaks, as far as I can see. Nothing. No visible oil leaks on the motor. Okay, on your front brakes, you got about. Uh, about 20, about 20,000, 30,000 K left on the front brakes. Lots of, lots of brakes, and your rotors are good and and uh, looking good. Your springs are intact, no problems on the front left. Okay, coming in on the front right tire, about like I say, about 40 percent tread on them. Okay, your. Outer tie, your outer CV boot intact, your inner CV boot intact. A uh, little bit of seepage on that, on the, uh, you see a little bit of seepage on there that's pretty common, not too, too bad. The, your shock is good and dry, your outer tie rod is tight, your upper control arm is tight as well. I've checked it up to put the jack under it. Uh, yeah, so it's not looking too shabby on the front right side here. Okay, on the rear right, on the rear left, gain your treads about 30%, not as much as the front. Not quite as much as the front. Okay, your shock is dry. You're not seeing any visible leaks on your, uh, on your differential, which is a good sign. Springs are intact. No cracks that I can see. Brake lines are clean. Your exhaust is definitely modified. You have a spare. Just a quick perusal of the exhaust. It's clean. No real issues with that. Okay, on your right rear tread, about 30 to 40 percent there. Your spring is intact. No cracks that I can see. Your shock, you can see just it's good and dry. Getting another shot of the diff. No visible leaks. If you can see down, then that's the that's the exhaust. That's the muffler that's been modified. That's not the original. Okay, so no visible leaks. Oil that uh, for any side, no uh. No issues with uh, brake leaks that I can see, or differential, or, uh, or any any seal leaks at the back here. So that's the rear right. This door handle does not open from the outside, but it doesn't open from the inside. So as long as you're aware of that. Windshield's got some really bad cracks in it. Uh, I scanned the um, I scanned your computer here. You've got a history code on uh, the ABS unit. Okay, so it's not coming up as an ABS current code, but it is a history code. Just so you're aware of that, I put that down on the report as well. Okay, uh, motor running well. Uh, your alternator is charging, but your battery is not holding a charge. So your battery is pooch. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, you've got an aftermarket uh, aftermarket air breather motor. I can't hear any. There's no mechanical issues that I can hear. Uh, your fluids are up. She's clean. So uh, drive-wise, and for the test drive I did, uh, shifted really well. The four uh, four by four uh, up and down worked well. So no no uh, tranny issues that I could feel. But uh, that's the the ones that I have. I've noted and letting you know.